always think our kids are, are sometimes um, big fish in little ponds. When they come to a, a four-year school, a lot of our students that don't take advanced curriculum find college to be a very difficult adjustment. And I think that the programs offered through the Bell and Blank, the, the AP program and the, the STEM program, allows those kids to have the rigor that they need to be able to face their, their, their secondary lives with confidence that they probably wouldn't have in, in, in the environment we have at our school. My name is Donna Bowman. I'm originally from Ohio. I moved out here to Iowa in uh, 1989. I've taught over 30 years. I've worked second grade, third grade, fourth grade, sixth grade, and then started into the Talented and Gifted program in 1999. I've known Carson since he was in kindergarten. Um, that's the blessing of my job is that I am the tag teacher. So the students that I have, I will work with them from kindergarten up through graduation. And um, he was always a very inquisitive child. He was always very strong mathematically. And I would pull him out for just some one-on-one -on -one instruction at the time. And one of my favorite stories about Carson is we, he was counting change when he was in kindergarten. Mrs. Bowman might have told you this story if you had her tell you one too, but it was buying a candy bar. We were just working on word problems in kindergarten with counting change. And we would play little games and say, okay, you have a candy bar and uh, I'm gonna give you a dollar. I want you to count back the change from 49, 49 cents. cents. So how much change did you get back? And I looked at her, but I didn't get a candy bar. And I'd say, well, it's okay, we're just pretending but I don't have a candy bar. But I didn't buy one. And we got stuck on that fact for so long. That's just one of my favorite memories with her and I. Sure, she said the same story, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think all kids basically want to do well and to be liked and to have a feeling of success. And um, sometimes our, our, our bright kids are kind of shoved off to do other things. And I, I think through the Bell and Blank Center, I learned a lot about making sure that those kids are not just set off to do their own thing, but are able to find their own success in what they want to do. Well, Mrs. Bowman is the main reason that I do the activities I do. She has shown me so many opportunities and had me do so many things. She's never really pressured me into it, but she's just kind of that person that you're like well if she thinks it's a good fit then it probably is because we have had that connection coming through the bell and blank center has given him much more of a maturity much more of a confidence in himself and in what he wants to do he's very focused on what he wants to do in in his life he wants to come to the university he's just a, a wonderful a wonderful kid i've really enjoyed my time with him over the years Mrs. Bowman has been a huge help and grace to our family. It's meant a lot that I got that challenge in school and that there was that person that I could always go talk to during school because kids need someone that they can go and just open up to if needed. Sometimes if my teacher didn't fully understand what was going on, Mrs. Bowman was always someone I could trust with anything. You know, I've seen, um, and I can't remember the guy's name, uh, Neil Tyson, Neil that gentleman, who says that our bright kids learn in spite of us. And um, I think that's, I, I, I think that really says that, that, that education's not important. And I think education is, very important, even in a society right now that doesn't recognize education as being important. I think we change lives, and I think that this program helps to change those lives. I'm really sorry, but that frustrates me with our kids sometimes that we're, um, we're just supposed to let them go. How can you let a child just go on their own? And that's what, that's what we need to be here for, and that's where I think that, that we provide the resources here to do that.